Well, Linda and the girls took off today for to do some girl thing, and I managed to skip out of that. And I'm staying home to just kind of putz around, and what I got to thinking about doing was making beer bread. Beer bread is something that I learned about quite a few years ago when I was practicing recipes for, camp, for bread for camping. I tried bannock, I tried soda bread, I tried some others, but the one that consistently came out the best was beer bread. So that's what we're gonna to make today and we're doing it in a camping atmosphere. I'm in the trailer, I've got, I'm using a camp stove, I'm using um, things that you probably have with you when you're camping or you could have with you. Outside, the wind is howling. It's gusting 65. <laughs> In here, it's nice and cozy. I got the stove on and, well, let's get to this. Oh, one thing first. The first thing is always coffee. And I want to thank one of our viewers who has, a, has the screen name of Vincenzo. And he sent us a big box with all kinds of different coffees from all over the world. And amongst some other things that he sent us, which is very nice. So... Vincenzo, thank you very much. Appreciate it. First of all, let's just cover some of the things you're going to need. You're going to need a, a large pot of some kind, enamelware pot or something. This happens to be a, a stock pot. You're going to need a mixing bowl, mixing cup of some kind, spoons. I got a measuring spoon here, something to stir with. Um, for the bottom of the pot, you're going to need some kind of trivets to keep the baking pot or the pot that goes in in the in the middle up off the bottom so these are going to go in the bottom of this stock pot like that and i chose this stainless steel pot to bake the bread in that's going to go in here like this and the other thing you're going to need is something to keep track of the temperature and i'm going to use this digital thermometer so I can make sure this is supposed to be about 375 degrees and this is gonna help me keep that temperature. For ingredients, I've got some Crisco so I can grease the pan for, that we're baking the bread in, baking powder, salt, sugar, some butter, and of course beer for the beer bread. Now as for the beer, you can choose whatever you want, but I've, de I've discovered that um, I don't like real hoppy beers in beer bread. It, it makes them bitter. So um, you can use, some people do use things like Guinness Stout and, and uh, beers like that, but I chose a real um, mild beer here <laughs> by Coors. But I, I like these better, um, just an inexpensive beer. It just seems to taste better in the bread. But experiment and see what you like. First thing I want to do is set the butter on the propane heater so it can melt. Um, this fan is working for us, by the way. This, this stove is on low right now, and the fan is... It's moving a lot faster than what it looks like in the video here. But it's working to circulate the warmth around. Boy, the wind is really shaking this trailer. And uh, I'm in the lee here. I'm not even getting the direct wind, but... Whew. Hey, the first thing I'm going to do is grease this pot. Especially the bottom, because I want this bread to be able to pop out of here easily. It's easy enough to get a butter knife down around the edges, but not the bottom. By using a paper towel to do that, I didn't even get my hand greasy. Well, making this bread couldn't be easier. First thing you do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And I already got the trivets down inside there, so it's ready for the pot. And then mix all the dry ingredients in a bowl. Pour the beer in and mix that all up. Watch. It calls for three cups of sifted flour. If you don't have a flour sifter with you, another way to do it is by sifting it directly, using a spoon directly into your measuring cup. It also helps to stir the flour a bit, just to fluff it up. You want your bread to come out nice and fluffy and not solid like a brick. Yeah, I know there's better ways of doing these things that we're going to be doing today, but we're doing this like we're camping. Okay, that's three cups of 
camp sifted flour, quarter cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of baking powder. The salt and the baking powder aren't necessary if you're using um, self-rising flour. I'm going to mix up the dry ingredients really good before I pour the beer in. Okay, this is getting there. It's up about over 300, just a little ways to go. Okay, the oven's up to temperature. I'm now I'm going to put in the most important ingredient, beer. Oh, it already smells good. It smells very bready. Okay, that's all mixed up. Put it in the baking pan here. All I'm going to do is push it down until it's level so I can pour the butter on top. That was a quarter cup of butter. Ooh, man. Oh yeah, that looks like that looks like that's going to work. Now I'm going to lower this into the stock pot. Okay, about an hour from now, this will be done. In the meantime, I'm going to keep a close watch on the temperature. Yeah, I don't know what Linda and the girls are doing. Probably some boring, girly thing. Maybe going through boxes in Nikki's basement or who knows what. Yes. Good job. <laughs> I'm picturing this uh, beer bread with hmm, maybe a cheddar cheese filled brat or something. Maybe a pot of beans to go with it. At least I'm not out with the girls eating some salad or something. I'm going to add a heat diffuser underneath just to help dissipate the heat a little better. Well, I think it's done. I put a butter knife in it and it comes out clean. We'll take it off the stove and let it cool a while. Now, of course, it would have been better to do this in a big Dutch oven with coals from the fire and everything, but that's not the purpose of this video. This was to show you that it can be done on a stove top with a pot. Well, while the bread is cooling, let's get on with lunch. Now, it doesn't look like this bread stuck at all to the bottom of this pan. Oh, and it didn't. And look, it's not even burnt on the bottom. How do you like that? Nice and brown up the sides, too. Let's slice into it and see what it looks like inside. Well, I'll tell you, it does smell wonderful in here. How you like that? Yeah, it's done perfectly. It's got that nice buttery top, and then the bottom and the sides are crunchy. It's quite good. It's full of flavor, and by the way, when you make it in a small area like that, instead of a big oven, it comes out really moist. You guys got to try this. 
is so good I don't know which to eat first, the bread or the beans or that brat in there. Hmm. Well, I think I'll end this video right here and have lunch. See you guys around.